you know this uh, meeting is being recorded, okay? Great. Will it be available later? Yes. Good. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we will post it everywhere. <laughs> good, good. Marguerite, are you standing in front of your camera? No, no I'm, um, I'm typing something, so I'll get it right. I'll get it. I, I put it up on books, right? That's better. But I'm now I'm typing something. So. Yeah. Hey, Danielle. Hey, like Tantini. Oh, 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 how is it, Sapora? You know, I actually made it yesterday. I have some friends here, but I wanted to make sure it was good. It's pretty darn good. I like it. Are you going to introduce your friends? Yes. All right, friends. I want to introduce you. Friends. In fact, you can introduce yourself here. Hi, I'm David. How are you? Can we see you? you Hi, go. David. Hello. Good to see you. Okay, let me find you in there. It's okay. Can you find yeah, you? Down, down, not the sky. There we go. Whoop, whoop. There we are. Grace. Hi there. I'm Grace. Nice to Hi, meet you. Grace. Hello. So highly weird. <laughs> so highly weird. It is. Right. What kind of party is like? We're like I'm giving you a computer to talk to. <laughs> the sky. I know you love the sky and the trees, but where are the friends? Yeah. Here, yeah, more friends. Hi, I'm Sabina. Hi, Hi Sabina. Sabina. One Hi. of your Tea Town volunteers for many, yeah. many, many years. I recognize Sabina. Thank you. Marguerite, a million years. Right. You've met Marguerite. Marguerite, I just met when I picked up Melanie Dodson's food at the That's library right. a few weeks ago. <laughs> That's right. She lives right next door to the um, Lobels, like immediately oh, yes. next door to the Lobels. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Marguerite. Hi there. It's Melanie. Oh, no. <laughs> I unmuted myself so I can say hello to Richard and his wife. Hi. We're going to start in a minute. I have to mute us again. But and hi, to, hi, hi to my friend Grace. Hello, Beverly. How are you? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. It was fun. Carol, my friend Carol is on. How oh, nice. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, we, we, okay. we got off track with your, with your. Right. right. <laughs> yes. I, I'd like to know your opinion. Do you think it's worth no, just a, leave this. A publishing for uh, more people than just family members? I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough question to answer. I think it's worth make, if you want to make it into a physical book, yeah. I think that that would be okay. really nice. You're not muted. Okay, uh, everybody in, in about in about one minute, in about one minute, I'm going to mute everybody, okay? And only Susie, when I mute everybody, you just unmute yourself because you're the uh, uh, starting. Okay. I don't market, uh, well, market or widespread or I haven't decided think? until I see the whole thing. It'll be mounted as a book no matter what. Okay, good. Good. Okay, uh it's it's 5:30. Um everybody please I'm going I'm going to mute everybody. Please don't unmute yourself. The only one who should unmute is uh Susie, okay? Yeah, my link, my link. Okay. And I'm going to spotlight Susie. And Susie, you're on. Welcome, everybody. And we're delighted to have you here tonight for Tea Towns A Night in the Woods virtual gala cocktail party. Um, in about three minutes or so, Beverly is going to welcome us and we're going to get going with our run of show for the cocktail party. So it's going to be Beverly, then Senator Harkum, then PACE President Marvin Krizlov, then Marguerite, Marsha, Charlie, and a special guest appearance. So we are delighted to have you all here. This is really pushing the bounds of our technological capabilities, but I have faith in us and I think we're going to have a lot of fun, so. I'm gonna be quiet for a few moments and then at about 5.34, which is in about three minutes, Beverly is going to give us her welcome.
If anybody has any questions right now, by all means, type them into the chat. And either Karina or I or Neko or Nadia will be able to respond to you. Hello, George Latimer here. Oh. Hi, Susie, it's Marsha. Susie, we have uh, George Latimer. He just uh, joined us in his phone. It's good to be with you. Susie? You have to turn on the video. What's that? Oh, Good. With that little three thing. Very good. Unmute. For some reason, my um, video doesn't seem to work. I'm going to reboot. It Excuse me, pl please everybody keep muted, okay? All right, we are going to get going and I understand that um, County Executive Latimer has also joined us. And so uh, Marguerite, if you would um, hold off after President Krizlov has finished his um, welcome and his toast to let County Executive Latimer go at about 5.42. Susie, and if, then if, if after you wanna... County Executive Latimer, then you jump in with your toast. Okay, Marguerite? All right, All right. Dev, go ahead. Good evening and welcome to the T-Town 2020 virtual Night in the Woods Gala. I'm Beverly Eisenberg, your gala chair for the year. Of course, this evening has turned into a night in your kitchen or a night on your deck. Um, but thank you for joining us wherever you are. T-Town has been there for you throughout this pandemic and we are so happy that you are here with us now. A special thank you to the T-Town Board of Directors, the gala committee, our sponsors and early contributors for their support and contribution to the gala. For all the years I've been attending this T-Town Gala, one of my favorite parts is the long cocktail hour that we had on the lawn at Sleepy Hollow. So this year we are starting with a cocktail one half hour. Um, and I hope that you dressed up in your gala finery and have a beverage of your choice at hand. Our friend Glenn Moat of River Market asked his award-winning bartender and manager, Emilio Ugarte, to create a special cocktail, the Tea Town Teeny, for this event. The recipe and the video of how to make it are on the Tea Town website. If you haven't seen it yet, please visit the site after the um, gala is over. I have one at hand and look forward to enjoying it throughout the evening. As, as uh, Susie said, the, the chat room will be open. You can send chats to your friends during our cocktail hour until six o'clock, then the formal program will begin. Please feel free to greet your friends during this time. And while you're chatting, you're going to be hearing, as Susie said, from some of our local politicians, our board members, educators, and a special guest. So enjoy your cocktails and I will see you again later. Senator Harcom, I understand you'd like to speak to us. Good evening, Susie, and thank you very much. And Beverly, thank you for those welcoming remarks. 
uh, as as Beverly mentioned, during the pandemic, this has been an incredibly challenging time. And people were locked up and came out. Not only did people need to stretch their legs, but people needed to reconnect with our natural beauty. And T-Town was there. You were there for thousands of our neighbors who needed to get out and, and walk in the woods and, and watch the birds and explore nature. And it's been challenging for you because you've had to change how you deliver programming and you've lost revenue at the same time. So I'm hopeful that tonight we can return the favor to you and the people will be generously supporting T-Town the way you've always been there for the community. So congratulations on your virtual gala and best of luck for great success this evening. God bless, thank you. Thank you so much, Senator. And now PACE President Marvin Krisloff, who was one of last year's honorees at our Night in the Woods Gala, which was actually at Sleepy Hollow. But President Krisloff, would you offer us some words? Thank you, Susie. And it's, it's, it's great to see you all virtually. Um, it was especially wonderful last year to be um, among those honored on behalf of, I was honored as among those uh, because of Pace University, of course. And Pace University and T-Town have such a strong relationship and it's been a place for research and learning for our students and faculty for so many years. And it's really important for us to get together, even if it's virtually, to celebrate how important T-Town is. As Senator Harkham says, it's been very important to those of us who really needed to um, experience the, the beauty of nature during this time. And we're so pleased to have T-Town in our backyard, so to speak, and it's very important to us. So it's a really great honor to be part of this. It's especially great honor to be part of a celebration of science and conservation and the beauty of nature. And I wanna to congratulate tonight's honorees, the Swope family, the science educators and the nature girls. And uh, I wanna say thank you all uh, for supporting T-Town. Um, cheers and congratulations and to next year in person. Thank you so much, President Krizlov. We appreciate that. Um, we're actually what, running a couple minutes ahead of schedule, which is wonderful for a change. Um, Marguerite, Marguerite Pitts from our board, would you please be kind enough to offer your thoughts on T-Town? Marguerite, please um, unmute yourself. Start again. Hi, everyone. I want to say I'm so proud of T-Town. Its growth in both acres and its programs, the habitats that we have saved, and the programs that have increased in number and the range of age groups that we have served. I'd like to cover a few highlights of the last 40 years that I have witnessed as both a volunteer and a board member. The T-Town story is a very inspiring one. It began with a gift of 200 acres and a few volunteers that were neighbors. And over that time, dedicated volunteers, staff and board have built and nurtured T-Town. Donors have sustained it. Here are a few examples. Our preserve has grown to almost a thousand acres of diverse habitats, meadows, streams, lakes, wetlands, and forests. We use those habitats to educate others. Our programs, which used to focus on elementary students, have now moved on to an intensive course for high school students in how to do field research. And for college students, we teach a field course in ecology, and we serve as a field station for Pace University. Through all of this, we have remained true to our mission to use our preserve and our programs to inspire our community to lifelong environmental stewardship. Both our staff and board are the best we've ever had. And it's particularly important during these difficult financial times. Despite budget cuts and a deficit, 
we will survive and even flourish. I can't say that many nonprofits are in as good a condition as we are. So to conclude, I would like to say that T-Town is my lifetime commitment. And I ask you to join me to support this great endeavor. We need you. Good night. Thank you, Marguerite. Oh, Marguerite. That, that is wonderful. Thank you. Got choked up. Yeah. Um, Marsha, are you on it? Yes. <laughs> Hard to follow so, that. When you, you have, a, take your mute, mute button off. I'm I, I'm off mute. So can you hear me? Yep. Okay, yes, Marsha. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So this is Marsha Saunders, a neighbor and current member of T-Town's board. Hard to follow, Marguerite. Thank you very much for those words. Um, I as well wanted to thank everyone and welcome you all to tonight's virtual gala. I'm zooming in from uh, my mother's house uh, on Illington Road, just around the bend from T-Town where I grew up. Um, when I was asked to speak about what T-Town means to me, I first thought about our childhood growing up just a few miles away from the reservation. During the summers, a group of neighborhood kids, we used to jump on our bikes and travel down Ellington Road to go to T-Town to hike the trails or catch frogs and salamanders. I remember the very early mimeographed pavers of what uh, different animal prints looked like in the mud or the snow. And I remember there were always more turtles at T-Town than we had at home. In the fall, of course, there were hay rides and the leaves turning color. And in the winter, we all used to go sing to sing carols to the animals that the rescued animals that made T-Town home. Um, early spring, of course, as we still do, is um, uh, tapping maple syrup. And, and by the way, don't try that at home. I've tried it at home with pretty disastrous effects. So stick to the T-Town uh, maple syrup tapping. Um, and then, of course, in the spring, we learned about all the wildflowers. Fast forward many decades, and now my sister's children come up from the city to hike the trails. And of course, now we have Eagle Fest, which they love. So as Marguerite mentioned, while the land T-Town protects has grown to over a thousand acres and the programming has expanded dramatically, I think the thing that most impresses me about T-Town is how still accessible and open it is to everyone. Uh, as she mentioned, we have a lot of new programming. We have multilingual uh, educators, programming for all ages. And, and as was mentioned during the pandemic, record number of people uh, coming to walk the trails. So thank you, Dory and the Swope family for their original vision and the gift of the land and the continued stewardship. Uh, congratulations to our T-Town educators and the Nature Girls, well done. And thank you to all of you for coming out tonight to support T-Town, both for, for now and for the future. It certainly is a wonderful community. I haven't done the uh, cocktail, uh, the T-Town cocktail, but I may go try it. So this is uh, cider. So Cheers and have a fun night. Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. That's wonderful. Is it is it Thompson's hard cider from around it the corner is. at Thompson's Cider Mill? <laughs> Am I allowed to say it is? <laughs> so, um, I want to check to see. I thought that County Executive George Latimer had joined us. He's right here. Uh, but I now I don't right see his name in the list. But if you may not you see are, me, but I'm here with us, County Executive Latimer, would you raise your hand in the chat so that Neko can unmute you? Yes, he, he's unmuted, but he's on, on the phone. We have no picture. You're unmuted. Now you're muted, George. Now you're unmuted. Well, uh, if I can be, if I'm heard, I just want to uh, I think join all the other we voices. might have lost um, oh, the connection to County Executive Latimer, here. but if he pops I'm back here. up, Susie, we, will Susie, we, we can hear him. That's enough. We can hear him, Susie. Before we get I'm Susie, here. We can <laughs> hear him. Susie, um, Charlie Susie Roberto, we can hear him. Would you be Susie, so Susie, we can hear him. To, uh, bring Susie, your, uh, uh, George is on the phone. The he wants to talk. Can hear him. Hi, folks. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello there. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> can you hear me or not? 
Yes, we can hear you. Ah, good. <laughs> well, that's uh, one more thing that we have to uh, work through in this COVID year. Uh, if you can't hear me, I'll be very brief. I want to join my voice with all those many others that have uh, uh, come on to praise T-Town for the outstanding work that it's done, uh, along with uh, County Legislator Catherine Borgia, who is my partner in county government uh, that represents the area. We both have great respect for what T-Town has done over the years, and particularly the difficulty in trying to provide those services during this COVID period. But I have to say, if there is anything to be gained out of what we're going through now, it is to understand that while movie theaters are shut down and amusement parks are shut down uh, and so many of our other entertainments are down, something that's natural and as beautiful as T-Town continues on. And it's something that uh, probably reminds us what's really important in this world, that the natural beauty that we've been given uh, is probably uh, should be top of our list of the things we appreciate. But I'm happy to be with you virtually. I'll be more happy next year when we can all be together in the same spot. Uh, congratulations and good luck on a, what we hope will be a, uh, a very successful gala. Thank you very much, Mr. Latimer. We appreciate it. And I, I apologize for the, uh, the mix up in tossing the ball to you. Okay, no Tyler Roberto, your turn. Hi, uh, my name is Charlie Roberto. I've been a member of T-Town since the mid eighties. And, um, these, these are very trying times. And uh, T-Town has shown that they're very capable and uh, wonderful in, uh, in helping people get through the pandemic. Um, many of the staff, you know, all the staff needs uh, to be applauded for their work through this. Uh, they've done a great job. They were thrust into roles that they weren't used to. Um, many were working the parking lots and um, through the whole thing, T-Town was always, the grounds were always open. And that was very important to people to get out and get some solitude and nature. And that's what drew me to T-Town in the first place. And it's more important than ever now for uh, people to come out and volunteer. Um, my volunteer role at T-Town started when I noticed that there were bluebird boxes that were in disrepair. And I I'm, should be a little regretful for saying, I'll take care of them because I've been doing things ever since. But it's really re rewarding to volunteer. Um, if you see something that needs to be done or, or T-Town needs, uh, ask them because um, there, there's never enough help at T-Town. You know, the, I, I've seen through the years that the staff, they always take on more projects and, um, they never say no, but it, it's it's really uh, uh, stressful and hard job to do that. And um, we need to be very thankful for them. And if you haven't been to T-Town recently, there's a project that they're right in the middle of in Wildflower Woods. They put a, a new study pond in there and there are a lot of uh, T-Town workers uh, being gardeners, uh, you know, paid employees that were planting uh, native plants in the uh, garden. So um, I'd like to toast uh, all the employees of T-Town and everybody that, that is on this chat because you're the ones that make T-Town work. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie, very, very much. And now um, the person who has the office next to me at T-Town, Lisa Kelly, our chief animal care person is going to uh, bring us a special guest, Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly. I'm an animal care supervisor at T-Town. I get to take care of all the cool animals we have here. Tonight, I brought out Orion. He's one of our great horned owls. We actually have two. Um, our other one is newer, so she's not quite up to speed yet on uh, coming out for programs. Orion actually came to us he, for in 2009 when he was uh, probably hit by a car, like most of our birds of prey, unfortunately, and um, he lost the tip of one of his wings. So he can no longer fly, but he has been coming out to many, many programs, teaching lots of kids about great horned owls and how cool it is that you can see one of these in your yard or probably hear it more than you'd see it. So he's been uh, quite the uh, patient star over here waiting for his, his moment at the gala. Thank you, Lisa. And thank you, Orion. Gosh, just beautiful. 
Wow. Um, our next guest is going to be Marie Roach, who is one of our environmental educators and has the office on the other side of me. So I'm surrounded by amazing people. Marie. Hi, everybody. Um, this is so exciting. This is pretty fun to uh, cocktail hour, half hour this way. Um, my name is Marie, and I'm an environmental educator at T-Town. Um, there are so many things I love to teach at T-Town. Among my favorites are the Hudson River Estuary and Watershed and Maple Sugaring. Um, I'm so proud of the stewardship, animal care, and education that has continued at T-Town, at the preserve, despite the unprecedented times we're living in. And this year certainly has tested all of us personally and professionally, but I'm so happy that T-Town has been a place of solace for so many. T-Town's mission and what we do through environmental education and stewardship is more important now than ever before. Not only is outdoor environmental education an answer to how to educate our children during a global pandemic, but we have to inspire all generations to preserve our planet now. Uh, T-Town has been and will continue to be an outdoor space where all people feel safe, welcome, and at peace with nature. None of this would be possible without your generous support. And I thank all of you for joining us this evening. Uh, thank you for helping us to affect positive change in our community by inspiring all to environmental stewardship. Um, cheers to you and thank you. Enjoy the rest of the gala. Thank you, Marie. I'll ask you later what you're drinking. That's pretty. And next we have also from our staff, Dr. Danielle Bagley Miller, who is our Director of Science and Stewardship and hangs her hat in the Science Center most days when she's not out on the preserve. Yeah, so um, thank you all for joining us this evening. I know we wish we could be together, but it's um, nice to see faces and it's nice to see, you know, a lot of people visiting us virtually for our benefit. Um, I, as Susie mentioned, I'm the Director of Science and Stewardship at T-Town. I've been at T-Town for about two years. Um, when I started two years ago, I was drawn to T-Town for all of the reasons that everybody has said um, from the beginning. I actually was born and raised in the Midwest and moved here for this job at T-Town, and I have not been disappointed. Um, the amount of habitat that we have, um, you know, the meadows and the forests and the wetlands that Marguerite had alluded to are part of my job. I get the pleasure of managing those habitats for a variety of wildlife and for enjoyment through hiking trails. We have been working so hard as stewardship staff to keep T-Town open and available during this really difficult year. Um, from March to May, we actually saw a two and a half times increase in the number of people visiting T-Town. So compared to this time last year, we had two and a half times as many people, which meant that more people were visiting T-Town for the first time. Um, they were getting to enjoy our preserve and we have worked really hard to keep the trails open and safe for you during this time, even though the visitor center does remain closed. Um, we also have had some difficulties. So um, when the tropical storm came through a few weeks ago, tropical storm Isaiah's, we had significant tree damage across the preserve and we put out an appeal to um, people to help us with that cleanup and it was really successful. And I wanna thank everybody who did donate that um, for that effort. Um, as Marguerite mentioned, this is a difficult financial year for us and we're trying our best to be flexible and creative about how we deal with challenges, but a lot of storm damage is something we can't really absorb in our existing budget. Um, we also have managed to still work with volunteers. So we've had over 60 volunteers still work with us since March. Um, well, since the beginning of the year, but mostly since March. And those are individuals, family groups that are coming and mostly working independently, but they're still interested in stewardship work. So they're clearing trails, they're continuing to pull invasive plants. Um, and as Charlie mentioned, we are in the middle of a massive restoration project in Wildflower Woods. Um, we're restoring a half acre wetland at the bottom of the T-Town parking lot, the main T-Town parking lot that's paved adjacent to the nature center. That has been an ongoing project that's been going on for two years um, through the permitting and planning phases, and we're implementing it now. So um, we've had staff that have helped plant over 7,000 plants um, for that, that effort, and we're also um, recruiting volunteers for it regularly. So I wanna thank the staff that have contributed. I wanna thank the volunteers that have contributed. 
Um, and also want to thank everybody who's joined us and the donors who've given us the ability to continue to do our, our difficult work since the beginning of this pandemic. We are doing everything that we can, you know, to keep T-Town safe in this place of solitude, and we hope you all continue to enjoy it. So cheers to T-Town and hopefully a, a good 2021. Thank you very much, Danielle. That's wonderful. So we are coming to the end of our, of our cocktail half hour. I hope you've enjoyed hearing from people from various parts of T-Town's community. Um, at six o'clock, this screen will end. And what you need to do is click on a link that Neko has just put into the chat. Um, it is our T-Town homepage, www.ttown.org. When you get there, um, you'll see the photograph of the owl. If you click on that, that will launch our formal gala program broadcast. And during that broadcast, you'll hear from Kevin Carter, our executive director, from Howard Permit, our, um, our board chair, again from Beverly Eisenbray, our gala chair, but we also have some other wonderful, wonderful events um, scheduled for celebrating the generations of conservation and science at T-Town. And we will also then have a period where, where Kevin will be leading us through an exciting virtual mission paddle raise. For those of you who have been to the gala before, you remember that the paddle raise is when you can raise your hand to donate to T-Town. And um, this time it's going to be done virtually online through texting. There will be directions for how to do that on the screen. Um, and Kevin will also give you directions as well. And so um, please go ahead and um, go over to ttown.org and join the gala. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. Please, everyone who is still in the meeting, please click on the link that is in the chat to go to the main event.
There's a link in the chat. I'll put the link again. Please click there to go to the main event.